Hi everybody, this is the football head, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the hot, and this is another video on the insane asylum known as WFAN. They're coming to take me away, ha ha, they're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, ha ha, to the funny fun. Now, if you come to this channel right away, you, you are obviously interested in what has gone on with the legendary New York Giant Carl Banks. And if you're here from other videos that I've done on Carl Banks, you want to know what's going on with what happened with him at WFN. I'm going to do a little backtrack. And what happened was, and what's been happening, is that Carl Banks has been on WFN for many years doing a segment on the midday show once or twice a week. For many, many years, long before uh, Brandon Tierney and Sal Akata had the time slot that they got back in July. Uh, and he has had that program for a long, he's had a spot on that program, whoever has been on there for many years. And here's the thing about WFN you have to understand. It's nothing but negativity that comes from that radio station. It's a lot of times it's directed towards the New York Mets. A lot of the hate and the, and the anger and the insanity is directed towards the New York Mets. And it sort of sprouts into other teams. Well, Tierney and Lakata had a disagreement with Carl Banks over defensive lineman um, Kayvon Thibodeau, who was the number five overall pick in the 2022 draft. And he's coming with a big reputation. And he's gone off to a slow start the past year. But... The numbers are starting to show that he is getting better. And he had a huge game against the New York Jets um, in the past game. And Carl Banks was trying to show them, was trying to talk about those numbers prior to that huge game. And there was a big blow up between the three of them. In particular, between Sal Akata, who I call Spaz, and Carl Banks. Now, the, the fallout from that was that um, Spaz hung up on call. And here's the thing about that that spot during the program. Carl Banks was being paid. Carl Banks is a co-worker. He was at that moment. So this has been a big controversy, and I've done a lot of videos on this. This has grown, this story about Carl Banks and about uh, what's gone on on the fan the fan in this particular program has a horrible reputation now. After four months, they've lied about a Met player called Pete Alonzo, saying that he's toxic in his Mets clubhouse, and now they've gone after and hung up on uh, Carl Banks. Now, this was not, I've talked about this many times. Well, the following week, which is this week, Carl quit the show because he didn't like the fact that he was hung up and he was disrespected. You do not do that to him. A guy that's won two Super Bowls for the New York Giants uh, should be treated with a lot more respect. And that this should have been smoothed over. It never should have happened. You never should have hung up on him. You should have just said, let's take a breath. But instead, once they hung up on Carl, they screened the band for the next four minutes and disrespect them further. Now, Carl Banks hadn't said much other than he was tweeting out some things uh, going after him a little bit. But that Tuesday, the Tuesday after, after the Jets game, he was on a channel called The Entertainer, and he basically said, I'm good friends with Brandon Tierney, but I don't know Sal Licata, other than the 12 weeks that we've worked on the air. So obviously he doesn't trust Sal. If you are a guest on that program, be very careful. Be very careful. Because at any time, these guys will start screaming at you, and you'll want... See, that's not professional. It's one thing if, if you got callers and they're doing this, or, or you bring in a guest that's just a guest, a newsmaker which is these guests that they bring in. But this is a paid this is a paid guest. This is somebody that's a co-worker. So now, because Carl has resigned, other members, other co-workers, have you, have you ever been on a job, folks, and a, a co-worker quits for any reason that's a dispute between two people or three people in a, in a business, and the, another person in your organization attacks the person that's left the organization? You don't hear that. You never hear that. And this is from the most insane person at the radio station with all his voices and his personalities and trying to figure out what's going on in people's heads. He doesn't know what's going on in his head. 
And I'm going to read you from awfulannouncing.com, which is a great site. I just discovered this. Greg Giannotti, the most insane person who threatened to beat up a caller on the air. Greg Giannotti won't miss Carl Banks' boring as hell WFN segments. Nobody wanted him. Now, I wonder if this was in Greg's real voice or one of his, uh, uh, his impersonations. Him resigning from WFN really means nothing to us. Why would it? You are his co-worker. As long as you have a job, what do you care there, uh, Greg? After Carl Banks resigned from his weekly appearances with WFN's midday show, don't expect him to resurface on their morning program. But well, that's, that's for sure. That's for sure. On Wednesday, WFN's midday host, Brandon Tierney and Spaz Lakata announced Banks decided to stop his weekly segments on this show following a tense ex- exchange over New York Giants linebacker Kayvon Thibodeau last week. During the exchange, which came at the 20-minute interview, at the end of the 20-minute interview, Banks and Lakata began talking over each other, prompting the radio host to hang up on the Giants legend. Now, Lakata should have said, let's, let's calm down and done something and just hammered it out, hashed it out. That's not professional. Don't do that. He was exasperated. This is not some kind of put on. Lakata does not like you debating him, making fun of him. He's very se- he's very sensitive. I've I've learned that he blocked me on Twitter, by the way, and you know because I've criticized him. It's not funny when you get criticized, Spaz, is it? No, it's not. You can criticize me all you want. I don't give a shit. Anybody can. I don't care. I hope people talk about my show. Lakata and they do talk about me. I know he has for a while. Lakata has since apologized for ending the interview abruptly, and both radio hosts acknowledge having cordial off air. Conversation with Banks following the blow-up. Carl didn't want to continue the segment. Wednesday night, former New York City, New York Daily News columnist Gary Myers tweeted that Banks resigned from WFN's midday show after being completely disrespected, which sparked mass social media reaction. And Thursday, WFN morning screwball and crazy person, I should be careful, he might come after me. He might come after me, that's a possibility. Greg Giannotti, he might want to beat me up. He might. Wait in. I know one thing about Greg. He never, and the hut means ever, makes fun of Boomer. Nobody makes fun of Boomer. Let me tell you something. Spaz would never hang up on Boomer. Because Boomer would kick the shit out of him. Strangle the shit out of him. Okay? There is a video of Boomer strangling Imus in the morning. Because Imus was always making fun of him. Everybody at that radio station is scared to death of Boomer. I know Greg doesn't make fun of Boomer. You ever listen to his program, watch his program, he does impressions of everybody but Boomer. You know Boomer. He talks like this. He's, his voice is so shy. He's got 40 jobs. That's Boomer. Host Greg Giannotti weighed in. Categorizing Banks Weekly Spot as one of the station's worst segments. Call, quote, Call is still going to be on the radio station. I wonder if he was doing this in the, uh, in his Joe Benengo, his mad dog voice. He's still going to do the, this is, nah, this is, this is Angry Greg. Angry Greg does his regular voice. He's still going to do the pregame show stuff. He's still going to be calling the games on WFN. And he's did a weekly, and he did a weekly spot for 20, I can't believe, this guy is anti-Christian too, by the way. Goddamn years here that was boring as hell. So him resigning from WFN really means nothing to us. If anybody is sitting there going, man, what a loss for WFN, stop. No one really liked that spot. The only reason it was still on is because there, there was a sales pitch, a sales play attached to it. That's it. Nobody wanted it. The host didn't want it. They didn't want it. Management didn't want it. Nobody wanted it. Yeah, okay. G and I claim that Banks deserves some blame for this, the tense exchange with WFN's midday show last week. The disrespect was on both sides. The morning host said, while Giannotti agrees Lakata shouldn't have ended the segment so abruptly, he thinks Banks was wrong for belittling the host's ability to have an opinion. Opinions and assholes. Everyone has one. Isn't that the truth? And by the way, for all the folks out there that are saying, what a terrible look for WFAN. There's two guys right now in the mid- midday that are making noise and making stories in a slot where that generally doesn't happen. Giannotti noted. It's desperation. Let me tell you something, Greg. You won't be thinking that way when they take your job so if you think that's a bad thing, you don't understand the business. Let me tell you, Sal will take your job, Giannotti, so fast. 
you won't you'll be happy to give it up. You'll be happy for him. Those guys took what was the most boring 15 minutes of the day and turned it into a news story. Now, again, these guys can dish it out, but they can't take it. Again, Spaz Okada has blocked your host on Twitter. I know he's been watching the program on uh, my baseball side for a while. Because some of the things I have said, he has leaked into his show. Um... Some of the words that I've used describing the 2023 New York Mets as losers. He started saying it right after that. And once I, and I never had any interaction with him on Twitter. So he blocked me on Twitter. Thinking that you know, that's going to bother me. Because I followed him on Twitter. But I don't think I ever had any interaction with him as far as I know. But uh, So we have another program on the radio station attacking Carl Banks. Uh, that again. Uh, Giannotti again. <laughs> He is like the attack dog of the fan. This guy is, he thinks he's, he has some kind of legacy of, of being, uh, I guess, the heir to Imus. But there's nobody that can carry Imus' uh, water ever. Um, and Greg thinks that, that this is, the, the end game is not the mid-morning show, Greg. The end game is the afternoon show for Spaz or your slot in the morning. Don't doubt me, because Spaz has been waiting 20 years. He's been beating the bushes. He's been beating the bushes and being your backup when you go on vacation. He wants your show. He wants Evan's show. He doesn't care about the mid-morning. This is his shot to kick you out of your own program. And you will see a feeding frenzy that you... <laughs> Don't doubt me, folks. Okay, this is just a way for Sal is stepping on people so he can get to the top. What's the top? The morning show and the afternoon show. Because prior to Spaz going on, that midday show it was boring with Tierney and Tiki. No one's saying that this isn't boring. We know the nature of the beast when it comes to radio, especially sports talk radio. Sports talk radio is complete monkey crap. It's complete nonsense. Now, your host will attack these people because I think it's funny and then not in on the joke. You're in on the joke. If you're watching and you subscribe to the to the football or the baseball, it's dope. You're in on the joke. These guys are thin-skinned. Spaz is thin-skinned. Greg is definitely thin-skinned. And Boomer, they scared shitless of Boomer. Don't doubt me. They never make fun of them. You know, Giannotti makes fun of everybody on the fan except for Boomer. Because Boomer will wring his neck. Don't doubt me on that. Well, you let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to the Football Hut. And this is another video on the nervous hospital known as WFAN. They're coming to take me away, haha. They're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, haha. To the funny part. So if you're mentally ill, have anxiety. Step outside. Hey. You want to step outside, huh? I'm not standing out. I swear to God, if you're in front of me right now, I'd show you what soft is. Step outside. Hey. You want to step outside? Huh? I'm not standing out.